Hi, and welcome to Rooted Flowers. My name is Becky, and we're going to dive into special circumstances for seed starting today. So generally, when we think of seed starting, we think of heat and we think of light as requirements. But in some cases, seeds don't want that. They either want a cold period or they want no light. Well, how do we make this work? Let me show you. So here I am sowing Sinoglossum or forget-me-nots. They love germinating in the dark. It doesn't matter how or what you're planting them in, the same rules apply. Once my seeds are sown, I'll sprinkle a thin layer of vermiculite or potting mix, and then I'll cover them with foil. Much like you're packaging up leftovers at the end of the night, that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Make sure to seal the corners and edges so that no light will sink in. When complete, I'll have my solid bottom watering tray, my tray of soil and seed, and then the foil, which will serve as a covering not only to eliminate the light, but keep the humidity in. I'll water in underneath the tray and then tuck my tray on top of my seed light station where it will still get bottom heat and be out of the way. Here's an example of forget-me-nots openly sewn in a container with only vermiculite. These were under the same conditions as the flat that we had just sown. And look at within 48 hours, they were producing a root and were ready to take off. Let's look at this example where these were open celled flats where I removed the foil and they were ready to go underneath the grow lights. They're a bit yellow at first, but they will green up. Now let's look at cold stratification. With cold stratification, all we're doing is mimicking what would happen out in nature. In this quick and easy setup, I use paper towels on top of cookie sheet to catch any loose seeds. I've got my water and then a Ziploc bag that I'll use to tuck everything in and then I'm gonna place them in the fridge. Before I sprinkle my seeds on the dry paper towel, I already have an idea of how many seeds are in the packet and how many I want to actually germinate. And make sure your conditions are clean, like your paper towel, your hands, and the cookie sheet so that you're not introducing any bacteria that might thrive mold in storage. Once my seeds are spread, I wrap them up around all sides so that nothing will leak out. And then I'll dip it into my water, just enough to make it damp, not soaking, and then tuck into my Ziploc bag. On my bag, I like to add the flower and the variety type so that I know what I sewed, and then the date that I'm putting it into the fridge. I then give it a tight seal and tuck it somewhere out of the way in my fridge so nobody will snag it. But everybody's pretty used to my experiments. After the two to four weeks, I'll then pull it out of the fridge and put it on top of my grow light system or someplace warm. When in doubt, keep in the fridge longer, closer to four weeks than two. It won't hurt. And within 48 hours, I'll start to see little roots forming out of the seeds. So this is only 48 hours after. Generally speaking, you'll see real root development in three to four days. So I would leave them on the light structure longer, and then within a week, I'm bumping them up into a new container. Thanks for stopping by the farm today, and don't forget to subscribe to learn more weekly tips on how to get growing.